As the mourning continues for Queen Elizabeth II, attention is turning to the woman who now bears the title of Queen Consort. CTV's Michelle Dubé has more on this new chapter for Camilla. The King and Queen Consort have been married for more than 17 years, longer than Charles and Diana were, and together they embark on a monumental next chapter at a time when many their age would be retired. It's the dawn of a new era in the monarchy, and at the King's side, a woman who has undergone a transformation in public perception. I am profoundly encouraged by the constant support of my beloved wife. The title of Queen Consort bestowed upon Camilla at the late Queen's request as the 75-year-old royal takes on an immense new role. I mean, obviously it was going to happen. I'm not a big fan of her, to be honest. Um, I love the Queen, I love the boys and Charles, but I, I'm just not a big fan of Camilla. At the gates of Buckingham Palace today, everyone seems to have an opinion and they vary. Well, I think from where she was a few years ago, she's um, made big strides and I think she's pretty generally accepted by people in the UK now. I like her. Um, I think she's um, incredible. In some ways, Queen Consort Camilla's story is one of redemption. Once a hated figure seen as the other woman, now on the other side of public acceptance. Many blamed Camilla for the breakup of Charles and Princess Diana. In the years after Diana's untimely death, a public relations battle ensued, marked by vicious coverage in the press. But the pair ultimately followed their hearts, forging a life together. CTV royal commentator Richard Berthelsen says her troubled image has evolved. And, and of course, her incredible contributions to national life in terms of literacy and women's issues, particularly women who are victims of violence. There's been a sea change in how people see her. Side by side in support of the heir to the throne, a role as queen inevitable for this mother of two and grandmother. I think she will be a really critical part of Charles's reign going forward, supporting him in what is now a very, very small royal family. At this hour at St. Giles Cathedral in Scotland, mourners are filing past the Queen's coffin as it lies at rest for 24 hours. Tomorrow afternoon, the coffin will be flown here to London for the next leg in the final farewell to the Queen. Michelle Dubay, CTV News, London.